Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Ratramation, and this is Lakeburg Legacies, a village management game with an emphasis on kind of family legacy and relationships between your villagers, which is a very fun take on it to me. So the reason I'm extra excited to check this out is because it's from Ishtar Games, which you may know from The Last Spell, which is another game they've worked on. It's going to be coming out in 1.0 very shortly, and then this is going to be the game they work on after that. So I'm very excited because of that, because Last Spell is fantastic. I trust Ishtar Games. Let's pop on in and see what we got. Uh, previous game will be deleted. I, yeah, I popped in for audio balance reasons. I do not care. Get rid of it. Welcome to Lakeburg. Name a sovereign who will govern Lakeburg while accumulating as much prestige as possible. Form loving couples, choose a prestigious ruler, and meet villagers' needs in terms of luxury. You win when you name a sovereign to sit on Lakeburg's throne. You lose when all of your villagers are dead. Uh, first step, search for true love will be your priority in Lakeburg. Finding it will be tough. Tindra will suggest... Tindra will suggest... A few suitors from the neighboring villages for you pay her a visit to find happiness. The ideal lover shares hobbies with your villager. Carefully choose the latter's soulmate to avoid future regrets. Marry the villagers. Suitors met through Tinder will settle into Lakeburg, maybe for life. Accommodate the children. Young married couples living in a house with a free room will quickly become parents. They will become parents quickly through alchemy because it's just just become parents. Uh, recruit workers. People are ready to join Lakeburg, the Lakeburg workforce for a price. Don't forget to accommodate everyone because homeless villagers will eventually gain negative traits. So yeah, I guess I guess is it are we talking like having children in this game is just magic? Just like you have two people, one person in room, one person in room, all of a the sudden there will be a created third person. Uh, like anyone else, Lakeburg villagers have needs. To satisfy those needs, buy some production buildings. Place villagers in those buildings so they can work and produce resources needed for well-being. Children are Lakeburg's future, and they need to be prepared for their future life. Train them from the age of six through mentorship, and don't forget to check on their aspirations, because some dream about becoming fine cooks, others are bookworms. Uh, ma maintain balance, work in progress. Always me. Uh, the village won't build itself. Give your villagers a home, a place to stay, and help them find their soulmate. Nathan. <laughs> Nate. Hello, Nathan. Homeless. Oh my lord, Nathan. Oh, are, the, are these good or bad? Because funny's here. Gl uh, I mean, sure. Uh, aspiration is physique. Brave. Athletics up. Uh, glutton. Club foot. Makes it hard to dance. Funny. Uh, you have a need, a need for wood. Okay, well, we have a... Well, why don't you get it yourself then, Nathan? Uh, life expectancy goes down, morale goes down, and athletics goes up. Well, hey, if your goal is physique, then boy, I better not hear any complaining. Man, the UI for this is just so good. Wood not satisfied, how will we heat the house? Okay, so monthly needs have been satisfied for it, but apparently not um, this. What happens when this fills up again? Filling it up once made it uh, so we filled up the needs. Okay, wood satisfied. There you, there you go. All right, Nathan. Uh, one homeless villager. I mean, Nathan. Deactivate? Oh my lord. Okay. What the hell is happening here? Well, we'll put Nathan in that house. He's no longer to the house. Okay. Alright, well, let's back on out. Here we go, Nathan. What are is this what is it thou art seeking, my child? Uh surroundings? Lakeburg? What's this? Oh, we can... Okay. Well, now I'm extra curious about the alchemy aspect. Uh, let's go ahead and just... What we get is what we get. Let's go for the surroundings. Barnabas? Nathan and Barnabas? I was wondering, is your mother an oyster by any chance? Pearls like you are so rare. Oh, Nathan. Uh, we both like reading... Oh, no. That 
that's not good. I like you. Nathan dislikes reading. You like reading. You like money. <laughs> you like money, and uh, Barnabas dislikes money. Uh, sorry, next. Dislikes desserts, and I like desserts. That's not great. That's a pretty big part of my uh, of my whole personality here. You're so sweet, you make salt taste like sugar. Well, how lined up can we truly get it, you know? Oh? Maybe. They both dislike meditation. This is looking the best so far. They both dislike meditation. She dislikes public executions. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> that must mean that can be a like. Dislikes war. Likes painting, fashion, and doing. Oh, that's interesting. She's. That's a fun thing. Uh, dislikes dueling. Well, but then who would she duel with? I think I'm fine with it, though. I think this is probably... Sickly? Boring? Shy, sickly, boring, and... How are you shy, sick... How are you shy, boring, and energetic? It, it, you know what? It is tough to find a good match around here. What, like, what are we going to talk about? How much we hate meditation? Just like all day until you eventually die early i don't know man affinity good oh okay affinity good i guess it just tells us i kind of regret it. i kind of want to go back though now now i feel bad coward rowdy we both like money that's a great uh great start average affinity oh my lord come on give me a high roll Perfect match! Holy God, but he's also definitely an evil emperor. 100%. Uh, Clubfoot, depressive, glutton, humble, also likes physique. We both hate, we both hate reading and the, the, uh, and dueling and love money. Oh, what a wonderful match. I guess so. Nathan and Frid Fridrick. Uh, they both enjoy the pale moonlight. This unique moment allows them to get to know each other better. The abundance of fishermen makes swimming in the lake far less enjoyable, or say money creates more problems than something. No, we both love money. That's one of our big defining character traits. It's almost impossible to swim without being pierced by discarded hooks. These pesky fishermen should think of other lake users. Any lake users in chat? Let's continue this charming rendezvous, rendezvous <laughs> with a nice bottle. Uh, wait. We both hate reading, right? We both hate reading, but maybe we like poems, I guess? Spending time in the inn, emptying a few glasses with a warm atmosphere help them break the ice. Yeah, we love poems, but dear God, if you so much as read one to me, I would be so mad at you. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. I live in a small shed, and I really love you. Oh, my God. Barf, though. These clumsy little rhymes simply melt Fridrick's heart. Just these two, just... We like to get strong, and we hate books. <laughs> Let's get married. Everything seems to be fine. Say, what about a boat ride on the lake? Uh, it's time to du -du 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 duel. You, wait, Nate, Nathan hates dueling, so Fridrick hated it too, right? So I guess we're gonna... But we also love kittens. All right, they, you know what? They are a perfect match. Nathan and Frederick agree life in Lakeburg would be sadder without this small four-legged inhabitants. It's a match. So what happened? Immediate marriage? Just speed run marriage? Let us rejoice. We gathered here today to celebrate the union between Nathan and Frederick. You promise each other to love, love, honesty, and fidelity until death do you part. Okay. Uh, interrupt the date? I mean, why would I... Like, I set them up on this. Have a baby? I mean, okay. I mean, sure. I guess. Why not? By the powers vested in me today, I hereby declare you as both officially wedded. You may kiss. Let the party begin. GG. Uh, unemployed. I mean, can you work together? Cost 15 wood to get an extra slot? I mean, hey. You should work together. You both love, uh, you both want to get strong. Wait. What is this book? Hold on. You been, uh, you been lying to me? Frederick Hartman. 
relationships. Yeah, dislikes reading. Morale is very high. Mor morale is through the freaking roof, dude. Okay, so I guess we go... Uh, try and create alchemy. So is this an open room? A child will arrive in nine months. Because we're... I mean, okay. All right, that explains it. We're literally just waiting for a stork. That explains it. Storks are canon. I knew it. I knew it. Storks are real. Uh, buy a farm. Ernesto. A merchant full of gold and goods is coming from the southern road. Hey, it's Ernesto and his faithful companion. What are they offering this time? Greetings. Today I'm looking for 15 wood and I'm offering 220 gold in exchange. Okay. I will produce a farm. I don't have another villager to do anything. Oh, recruitment is available. Uh, so we're looking for, hold on, let's, I mean, just nature, farming, produces, does it say, I can't really see what it, um, does to the people. Strength helps, so if they're strong, that helps. What the heck is going on here? Sticky brew? Frederick and Nathan have been chatting for hours at the inn. Suddenly, Nathan poured his beer on Frederick, so completely soaking the poor soul. How does he react? Uh, Nathan, Nathan, how does Nathan react? Or how does, how does who react? Oh, boy. God, he, he looks absolutely evil. Seeing Frederick laugh merrily at the clumsiness, Nathan apologized with a smile. Covered in sticky beer, Frederick offers him to come to his place to take a bath. Oh, my. Uh, affection up. And they both become charmed. Uh, so I'm looking for a farmer. Oh, you're a farmer. Uh, yeah, it seems like you're a good batch. A uh, good bet. Sure. We'll put you there. Life expectancy goes down a bit. Morale is going down quite a lot. Okay, so... Holy moly. There's a lot to keep track of. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, no. Alright. Okay, so are we... How are we doing for everyone's needs? Uh... So at level 2, you start to need... I guess... was it is it broccoli? Perhaps? Allocation order. Nobles, artisans, peasants, homeless. Oh, my. Vegetables not satisfied. I mean, I'm working on it. We can increase the base production with 45 bucks. Sure. Uh, add a resource. We, I don't think... They don't need it yet, so I'm not going to say that I care. But let's play matchmaker again. Average. We don't take no non-perfect matches. Also, she likes public executions. Big turnoff. Uh, likes music and feasting. I mean... Yeah, likes hobbies? Muscles? That's not a hobby. Working out is a hobby. Muscles is not a hobby. That's... That's, that's, not, an, that's not an action. <laughs> I guess likes muscle. You can like muscles, I suppose. Good... They both like the countryside. You... What's with the eyes? The eyes are so scary. They're red sometimes. Uh, from the surroundings. Charisma. Uh, Baker. I don't want to keep re-rolling forever, but... Come on, we gotta get a good match. Oh my lord. Romeo? Hates feasting in the countryside. Oh my goodness. Bad, bad, good, excellent. Muscles in the countryside. I kind of want... Am I bad for wanting a perfect match? Excellent is good. Am I bad for wanting perfect match? Muscles in the countryside. There we go. Perfect match. They both love muscles and feasting and they hate music. 
They can sit there curling their biceps while listening to uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, bicep in one hand, burrito in the other. Absolute perfect silence. Sylvan. Uh, sure. Sophia and Sylvan are enjoying a boat ride on the lake's tranquil waters. Considering how romantic it is, wouldn't now be the ideal time to go for it? Uh, they, they love eating. Good. Let good digestion wait on appetite. Sophia and Sylvan share the same taste in terms of good food. Uh. Oh, shoot. We don't... I don't know if we know this one. Sophia and Sylvan are spending time at the inn, emptying a few glasses. With a warm atmosphere, help them break the ice. So, I don't remember how to... So, you can pay 300 to show their hobbies. It's, what's kind of weird about this, though, is because you do get to see their hobbies already. So it's like, I have to memorize it? You're paying $300 so I don't have to memorize it? Or 300 hearts so I don't have to memorize it? Is that the deal? Uh, rip. Sylvan does not care about such things. All you need is a shirt on your back and clogs on your feet. Uh, bummer. Can this magnificent moonlight still help our lovebirds to bond more? Uh, muscles are the true pinnacle of human evolution. Absolutely. Uh, as a big man with big muscles, Sylvan is proud to, of their ability to lift, hit, and break almost anything with their bare hands. It's a match. It's a two. So how did you get? How do you get a four heart match then, huh? Uh, I'm gonna say it's just good enough. So how's buy a new house? God, it costs so much to have a child have a children production so okay so their heart match of two produces two hearts every whatever however much uh okay you are not 19 you are not 19 Sylvan you are not 19 years old yes I am what are you talking about so why are you on the, uh, I guess you're just on the other side of the book, because that's just how the UI looks. Uh, alright. Alright. So, Sylvan, we need you a job. What do you want to be? Your aspiration is physique. I mean, you know what, we can just... This helps physique, right? No, it helps your nature. Eh, whatever. Work with your wife. Build hunter cabin, sure. Do we have any, uh, I guess you could work over here. That probably helps your physique. How do I make you quit this job? There. Perception. Eh. That's good enough. We'll, we'll send you over there. Sylvan in the forest sounds right. It sounds right. Okay, so, oh boy. You have a need for, what is this? Clothes? I don't have the materials for that. We're going to need more leather. Let's upgrade the base production a bit. They just leveled up too darn fast, man. Um, here, it's just fine. I suppose we could just keep getting more people. Uh, potential a good gatherer. Does that translate to good hunter as well? Like, I know it's like quite, no, I know that that's not quite the thing. I'm assuming that there's one that actually just straight up says, okay, it swaps over. Uh, good blacksmith. I'm looking, I'm looking for a good hunter, okay? I'm on the hunt for a good hunter. So it costs 32 bucks. It's really not that expensive to just get a new person, though, for what it's worth. But what do we have for leather? Seven leather? We needed, what, 20? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very expensive, but let's just bump that up a little bit. Uh. Oh, there we go. Don't you dare fall in love. He's a married man. 
All right, so we could get couples. We got to get a new house. 12 bucks works for me. And you can just live here. Why not? Back out. Find your soulmates. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, bye. Okay. Fighting in Lakeburg seems wrong. We have lots of hearts. But, like, excellent? Should we just settle for excellent? Because having a baby costs so much, man. Mean? Obstinate? What the hell? Uh, and you're gonna... You want to be a priest! And you hate meditation! Oh my god, this, this does not look like it's gonna end well, but it says you have good affinity. Do I just lock it on... I think I lock it on excellent at this point. We'll see. One of these couples won't work out. Colette and Bartholomew both enjoy the pale moonlight. Uh, they both seem to hate things, so... Dueling is simply barbaric. Bartholomew couldn't agree more. Uh, spending time at the inn with a few glasses will the warm atmosphere help them break the ice. Honor to be... Talk about honor to be had on the battlefield. Make fun of the people. Ah. Bartholomew thinks you can judge a book by its cover. Bah, let's change the subject. All right. I kind of want one to go poorly. Uh, minstrels disturb the peace. Was that one of the things they hated? <laughs> they wanted... Okay. All right. That's a big red flag again. They wanted to talk about uh, the public executions. Bartholomew loves minstrels, bards, and troubadours, but finds this conversation boring. This is not going to go well. Uh, let's see how it goes. How about that? Let us rejoice. I don't see... I, I feel like sort of why not to an extent right now. So what is Bartholomew good at? Oh yeah, that's right. Priest, seamster, carpenter. Uh, I can build this. We do need a seamster. There we go. Working on that. Uh, clothing needs are not being met. We'll upgrade the base production. So what about everyone's general happiness? Pretty good, fine, really good. Good for now, fine for now. We'll see. We'll become an artisan in blank days. Ooh, pretty neat. Also, what's the deal with the relationships here? Okay, hold on, let's pause, there. You are infatuated with Sylvan. Good. Uh, relationship, friendship, affinity high. High chance of triggering a positive event. Uh, insignificant. Okay. Everyone's pretty darn in their own stuff. For the most part here. Inheritance. Oh, goodness. Waiting for Stork. Oh, you're actively... You actually are actively waiting for the Stork. So, is it, is it just a, a certain amount of time thing, I guess? Uh... Huh. Both quiver with delight. Uh, Nathan stopped changing perfumes, knowing Frederick loved the one he usually wears. I mean, that's nice. All right, uh, so are we meeting uh, desires yet for clothing? Yep. Looks like it might take a moment, but yep. Completely satisfied there. Shall I bring in somebody else? I guess I need to look. What's the next thing coming up? Bakery. Anyone good at baking? Nah. Nah. We'll just wait. It's 30 seconds and we get a new uh, a new person brought in there. Private life. Wait, what? Ooh. Yeah, nothing's going on for kingship. Pretty cool. Okay. Hold on. Wolfgang is born. 
Uh, hold on, I need a baker. It's okay, we'll just make Wolfgang a baker. Oh, my lord. Uh, luxury, work in progress. What do I need to do? You're weak. I mean, it's a baby! What do you- Robust! Resilient! What? Oh my god. Who decided that these are true, and how? This baby is resilient, robust, but ultimately weak. Gonna be a good innkeeper one day there, Wolfgang. Uh... <laughs> unemployed? I hope so! <laughs> I, I hope so! Uh... N okay, so... Build all buildings. I am wood. So these are like achievements that we need to get to cross a certain point here. Uh, so what do we need for this? We need wheat. So we do actually need to go to the farm and start generating that. I wouldn't mind... Um, yeah, the baker. I would take another farmer at this point too. Oh, I paused. I would take another farmer. Uh-oh. Wait. Sylvan and Colette have met and now have a secret crush? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This won't go well. Uh, it's because they work together? Do I need to take you away from here? What are you, what are you exceptionally good at? I mean, you're pretty good at being a huntress. Are you, like, even that good at... <sighs> Actor. You have the aspiration of physique. Oy, oy, oy. We'll see how it goes. Oops, no, I'm hitting... Hitting the unpause button. There we go. That ain't great. Yeah, I care a lot about the private life part. <laughs> Alright, so... What do we got going on here? Resource limits met. Oh, is, that, is that what it said? Oh, max limit of, of leather. Well, we have the tailor. Let's, um... Increase production, then? Needed resource... I don't know that that changes anything. That doesn't change how fast you work. The, the best way I could get rid of it is by hiring another... Oops. By hiring another tailor. Shouldn't have done that yet, though. Okay, so we're looking for a farmer, a baker. I wouldn't mind... Oh, my lord. I wouldn't mind a tailor. Uh, Slavomir. I don't have enough money. Uh, looking for four meats. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. I needed to hire uh, Slavomir. That's for baking, yeah? That's why we wanted him? How do I... Yeah. Okay. I mean... Not bad. But also... What am I really needing right now? Why... why... How do I generate the most amount of money here? can't just be from the cell. We, we do generate passive income. We totally do. I'm not really worried about, uh, wood. Give you a house. Uh. Next recruitment. So, there's the baker, but we don't have a bakery yet. Uh, farmer. There we go. Hermione! What is that? Okay. Hermione, get in there. Slavomir has no job until we get a bakery. We got the bakery. Get in there. Okay. Alright, so let's check back on Nathan. Oops. Would be a pretty good indicator of how good we are. 
All right, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, acquaintance, Sylvan and Colette have a secret crush. All right. Couples. Two couples are looking for love. I mean, are they, first of all, step one, are they compatible? Uh, not even slightly based off of their interests, at the very least. Hmm. All right, Slavomir. Good. Good. Average excellence. Likes cuddles, hates cuddles. I don't know if we can handle that, though. Uh, actor, painter. I mean, the, the other thing we need to look for is basically, do we need their someone who has their job? And we don't have a painter. We don't have an actor. Uh, theoretically, we don't have a gatherer. I, sure. I, do, I should. God, I really need to just... It, I would say it's a design flaw that I should just copy and paste. Like, I should screenshot that screen. It, I've, I would consider that a design flaw. Like, right? Uh, Slavomir and M Amalric are spending time in the inn. I didn't even process... Because, like, I didn't process what they're good at. But, like, it's stupid that to then pay 300 for that. It just feels like a weird... Weird mistake, almost. Uh... Do not talk about cuddles. I will tell you, the cuddle thing wouldn't have went well. Burp, Malrook doesn't uh, dare ask uh, Slab Mayor if he's keen on second breakfast and, and afternoon tea as he is. So the cuddles wouldn't have worked well anyways. Criticize the work of the realm's best painter. Make fun of people interested in their outfits or their skills. I don't even know. One of you wants to be a painter, so it would feel weird if you wanted to criticize it. World's way too superficial for Amal Amalric. Nobody knows how to dress in the morning anymore. Uh, rumors. Get excited about great libraries. I think they like reading. Great. Welcome to the town. Okay, so you're already in. Do you not have a house, Hermione? All right, let's get another match. What happens if we do a late break? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, good. Bad. Give me an excellent. Excellent or higher. Oh, God. It's costing too much. Perfect match! Love divination, hate, hate kittens on the countryside! Uh. What's with you guys? What the hell? I mean, sure. Let's. Again. Should have, should have just copy pasted, but I kind of refuse. I refuse to engage with it in that way, right? So, like, should I, could I, would I? Sure. I refuse to engage with it that way. Talk about music. Uh, criticize the countryside. Oh, we don't actually know anything about either of these. For them. I don't know anything about either of these. Shoot. I don't know if there's always uh, one that's a good option or not. But they are a perfect match. Okay, so we're already in. Pauline! <laughs> Somebody tell me how we know this child loves public executions. Somebody want to inform me? How this depressive child has expressed interest in public executions. And hates flowers. <laughs> How did we find out? I almost feel like for, uh, just for flow and, like, uh, slight uh, realism. If Maybe if they slowly got revealed over time, right? I feel like that would be better. So we, we totally have uh, jobless people, right? So you... Painter, actor, gatherer. Innkeeper, huntress. I can... I could swap you out for now. 
because you were causing a problem. So we'll do that. Sylvan, Fisherman, Lumberjack. We could give you a Lumberjack job, but I don't know if I want to split up the, uh, the lovers. Born to be a Lumberjack. You guys are born to be Lumberjacks together. Oh my word. What's the next building? Mason. Uh, I really don't know what I want you guys to do. Oh my god, you're a top tier huntress. You guys are nobles? I don't have a livestock farmer. So what's that about? Like... Sure, that's fine. Well, this... I mean, I think we need a, we need to get a new house. It'd be nice if I could just drag him in like that. Okay. Gotta find a match for Eldis, maybe. So how about them, baby? When are you gonna grow up? Child. Uh... Six years, wasn't it? A value of zero equals death? What? Decreases each year. Wait, what? Oh, life expectancy is... I was like, okay, I didn't see the 6,000 up there. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. How old are you? 3,500, okay. All right, one of you is definitely dying way earlier than the other. That's going to bum everybody out. Uh, are you guys... Acquaintance. That's okay. Infatuated. Good. Good. You're married. That's that's important. Uh, I don't know, man. We can just run business as usual for a moment. All your needs are met. You're not level five yet. I don't know what they really do. Uh, because I don't know what's coming up next. We could get ready to build this, which just needs a lot of wood. So, who wanted to be a lumberjack? Sylvan, you're pretty good at being a lumberjack. Sure. Let's just, uh, there. That should boost our, uh, our wood income by a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot of a lot. Just trying to, you know, keep things sort of in check. This is going to cost money too, isn't it? No, it's not. All right. Base production. We're all good there. Does it, it doesn't cost money to get a couple, right? Um, Ill-mannered. Average. Good. Give me a, give me a great. Oh, God. Oh, God. The rerolls are getting too high, man. I mean, uh, also, but now that I realize that you can just have a baby normally and you don't have to force that to happen. Oh, but they they disagree on kittens. They have nothing in common and nothing not in common. Oh my god, I'm about to give up though. Give me, give me, give me thank you. There, they love kittens. Oh my god, I spent too much on Aldous, who I honestly, I don't care about right now. He's a noble. Seamster, I wouldn't mind getting a seamster though. I'm happy to get that, uh, all this and our Arthurus. Spending time at the inn, emptying a few glasses. Will the warm atmosphere help them break the ice? Oh, God. I really need to just say bad things about the baker. There we go. Abundance of fishermen. No cuddles before third date. Minimum. Man. Yeah, I, I, I refuse to engage with that element of it. Uh, the, like the copy paste element of it. I want to go on vibes. Or like we, you know, because it feels like it's weird. I feel like it should tell you what their match level is, but not tell you what the other person's traits are. Isn't that like a much more logical way of running it? However, then that, 
I would say that that works twofold because then you also have an advantage on matching people from within your village because you would get to know both of their traits. I think that that I think that that's how that should maybe work, right? Because otherwise, the the correct way to do this would be to go to the match, open up Microsoft Paint, print screen, paste it over in the other one, and then just do the correct answers. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I'm crazy. I just feel like that'd be a better like a better flow state way of doing it. Either, any of you want to be Masons, even slightly? Good. Uh, I think I wanted you you to be a seamster. Yeah. Seamster. All these I need you. You need to get a job here. I guess I could get another farmer, but. Am I overflowed on anything? I mean, I'm neutral on wheat. Stock? I mean, we're pretty capped on, like, everything. Fisherman's hut, we need... Or... I don't have the money to increase production. And I can't uh, add another slot. So, is there a way, if I plus the stock, does that mean that I can improve, for 300 bucks, I can improve the amount that we can store? Is that what you're talking about? I'm not particularly worried about it right now, but... Mallow Alder is born. What do you like? Money. <laughs> Okay. Sure. What is greet? Villagers greet. You can force grill villagers to grillagers to greet each other. Uh, insignificant. Oh no. Uh oh. Loveless marriage. Uh oh. Oh, Colette. What have you done? What have you both done? Spend time with? Oh, shoot. So who's Colette married to? Well, I can't deny that Bartholomew and uh, Colette are not a good match. That is understandable. Maybe I uh, break them up? Maybe I break them up and then just see what happens. Oh, they have a child! Oh, no! Uh, They found a new topic about which to argue. Fishing. Oh, no. Uh... Well, well, completely drunk, Bartholomew threw up on Colette. That's the big thing that... Uh, the big thing that made this a loveless marriage was that he threw up on you and then you hate fishing? Oh my god, man. It's not the, uh, you know, the fact that there's a little something-something going on ruining things. A little bit of a, a side thing he has. That's just, that hasn't even erupted yet. This is already a problem because of fishing. Uh-oh. I think we just see how it goes until they're more sad than they are. Because right now, even though they're in a loveless marriage, they're pretty happy. Right? Where's Sylvan? They're really happy for being in a loveless marriage. But... Other problem is so Colette's wait, Sylvan's not in a loveless marriage, that's why. No, they wait, are you both in a loveless marriage? Oh no, Colette wait, what? Colette and Bartholomew are in a good relationship. I was wrong. It's you who's in a bad one. Hold on. Sylvan and so uh, Sophia. Oh, let's pause here. Uh wait, hold on. How do I check it? Oh, I have to go to their house. Oh, no. Uh, 
Oh my god, okay, well, they got married. Sylvan can't stop thinking about Sophia. And then he cooked her pet hen. They t fought about meditation. They called, Sophia called Sylvan's mother a swine. Uh, they argue about gossip. Sophia smells like a horse. Uh, last night, Sophia let Sylvan take her blanket. Plus two. Uh, Sylvan tried to tease Sophia a little, but she didn't take it well. Sylvan loves the poems Sophia wrote for him. Oh, that's nice. Uh, fed up with Sylvan for never paying for anything. Sophia hates Sylvan's family. Uh, Sophia didn't want to share her fried potatoes with Sylvan. That's equal to hating her their family? Sylvan sneezed on Sophia. I mean, hey, right now I can't... Uh, I am a, I'm a sneezing man at the moment. Okay. How do we break them up? It costs 2000 Are you serious that it costs 2000 to break them up? Oh, no, man. So I guess that's the big uh, thing for wanting to be very careful with your, with the relationship. If it's not a good match. But I thought you guys were a good match. Just not anymore? Were you guys not a good match? I thought you were a perfect match. And then I beefed it. Conflict of interest. Winter was particularly harsh this year. Harvests are bad and the price of resources are on the rise. Protagonists? Uh, let's see. Sophia and Slavami are having an argument over the price of wheat. How could we solve this sticky situation? Uh. With his oratory skills and unparalleled charisma, Slavmir succeeded in convincing Sophia to reduce her prices. Uh, absolutely. I wish Ernesto would come around more often to, uh, to buy our stuff. But... Either way, I could play this for a long freaking time, but as a result, I also, like, the end point is feeling like it's so far away. I, I really like this. I like this a lot. I think it's a very cool take on it. It's a, you know, there's, there's a lot to manage and everything, but I like that. And I think that the, the kind of emergent storytelling that gets to happen because of the relationship system that's so, that's so randomized is really, really cool. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that, and that's going to do it here for today for Lakeburg Legacies. If you want more of this, do let me know. I certainly would not mind covering more of this game. I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's very cool. I think it's very fun. I love the style of it. I, I just, I love everything about it. I think it's such a, such a neat game. I think it's very cool. Uh, but yeah, demo may or may not still be available with the link at the top of the description. Otherwise, wishlist it for when it comes out. And make sure you check out their other game, Last Spell, which is completely different than this game, but also very good. That's going to be coming out in 1.0, finally, sometime within the next few months, I believe. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.